All right, step one, separate by color. This is already, already separated, already, already separated by material. So now I just separate by color. This is all PETG. There's red down in there, blue, orange, green, yellow, gray under there, black, purple, and pink. And then I cut it into pieces small enough to go <clears throat> into my home office uh, CD DVD shredder. And I made a hopper for the shredder, but I will take the lid off while I show you my shredding. <laughs> out into the bin large pieces but then I dump it out and run it through again and I'll show that in a bit all right step two this is the coarsely ground material unfortunately there's no better way to get this back through there other than handfuls so I usually just turn this on and I hold the cover with my other hand to help keep fragments from going flying, uh, so I'll just kind of do this this time. And I grab a handful, make sure it's not gonna <laughs> fall on the floor on me, and bring it over and slowly release it into the grinder. Because if I let it all go at once, it'll jam. All right, so again, handful, Take it out. Let it rip. And again, I usually hold the lid with my other hand so I don't get shrapnel all over. Alright, next step. Alright, step three. This is after going through the grinder twice, the initial destruction and then further chipping. It's 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 okay. I would not want to run this because there's still the occasional big piece. Uh, I would not want to try to run this in the Philostruder, that is. Um, but that's why I'm going to run it through two more times. Now I can use the scooper. And I have a funnel on my hopper with a hole so I can just dump it in. I gotta do it slowly though so it doesn't jam. So, get a scoop. And then just kinda shake it in. bucket full. All right, final pass through. As you can see, it's pretty good now. This would probably be okay to put through the illustrator, but uh, there's still the occasional big piece in there. And most of the little things will just go right through the, the shredder without being shredded anymore anyways. So this one goes through fairly quickly. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you one scoop worth. Show you how easy it goes in. Aha, and then I jam it. Well, now you can see what happens. Let it, let it go in reverse a little bit. And then turn it off and back on. It kicks in. And then I do that again. <laughs> a little bit slower. <laughs> There's a big piece right there. Right, and then I keep doing that. Alright, final step of the process, which I forgot to show earlier because 
I was at the end of the night, so this is orange filament now instead of yellow, but um, I put it, you know, I fill up a bag most of the way, and then I weigh it, so this is 940 grams currently, so I just need to add a little bit more. Uh, one scoop is about 100 grams, so then I'll just pour a little bit in until it's uh, a kilogram. I usually go a little bit over because the bag weighs a few grams. So, uh, and then I squeeze the air out and zip it up and put it in the stack.